Hi, my name is Ivan. I'm the developer of the Gilang framework. And in this video, I would like to show you how to prepare a test suite in, using Galen. In the previous video, I have shown you how to uh, write some basic tests for desktop and mobile layouts of, for this website. Uh, this website is responsive. So I'm going to use the code from the last video. And here we only have the homepage, the .gspec file. And in this spec file, we have prepared the layout for uh, desktop and for the mobile and the way we were running this uh, these layout tests previously in the previous video was by using the Galen check command so for desktop and for the mobile we had to all the time run uh, it separately using the Galen check homepage.gspec include mobile then again we had to run the uh, layout test separately for the desktop layout but in this case uh, I would like to make it, I would like to make it easier for us to run the tests, and uh, we're going to use the Galen standard test suite runner. So if you go to the website, go to the documentation, and click here Galen test suite syntax. We'll use for now. We'll, for now, we will use this uh, test suite syntax, and here is the basic way to create a test. You can define a test name, a URL, the browser size, and then the check command where you connect uh, your layout test to the, to the spec file and to the text uh, that you're using in your layout test. So let's create uh, my test home page on mobile. Let's copy the website URL. Check home page in GSpec include mobile. So here we have declared a single test that will run only for mobile layout. And if we want to run two tests for two different layouts, here's what we can do for now. We can just copy this. Change the name on desktop, change the browser size, and here we go, we have two tests declared in our test file. So here's how we can run it. We type Galen test, that's the action, and then we specify the path to the file. And the only thing that we need in this case is the HTML report reports argument. That's it. So now it will open the browser and will test the mobile layout and then we'll again open the browser and test the desktop layout. So here we go, we have two tests and they passed. We can open the reports and this is what we get. We get two tests, home page on desktop and home page on mobile. And if we want to add another test for a tablet, we can do it the same way. But this is not really the best approach. I don't really like copy-pasting. So here's what we can do. Let's make it nicer. So first of all, we can now delete this. And we can make, make our test parameterized. So we can declare this thing. Parameterized. That's a special keyword. You can find it in in here. Parameterization. So this is what we can do. We need to declare a keyword parameterized, and then when under under it, we need to declare a table of our param parameters. So let's call it device name size text it's gonna be mobile and it's gonna be desktop 
up. So now we need to actually use those arguments here. And this is what we can do. We'll add them in the test name, device name, also in the size definition and the text. I can wrap it in double quotes. So that's it. Now we can run the tests again. And it does exactly the same as it was doing before. But now it's much nicer. So we still get the same two tests executed. Home page on desktop, home page on mobile. If we click it, we will see that it's for a different layout. It's a big layout, and then for mobile, it's gonna be a small layout, a mobile layout. Now let's do some more stuff there. Oops. Another thing that we can do, we can actually use the so-called parameterization tables. The thing is, you might notice this already, uh, we have a table declared uh, in the parameterization block for a single test. But what if we have like plenty of pa different pages on our website and we all want to, uh, all of them we want to test in all different kind, on all different layouts. And we don't really want to copy paste this table for every single test. Here's what we can do. We can move this, we can move it up and here we can give it a name, uh, my devices. So we have created this table and in here what we can what we have to do is type using my devices this way uh, we are telling Galen to run this home page on device name test using the parameterizations from the my devices table so if I want to create another test let's say a login page on again device name I just need to do the same thing here. I just need to copy and uh, put it here. So that's uh, make that, that makes it much better. It's more flexible now. So let's again run the tests. And let's check what report it has created. Same stuff. And one last thing that we can do here. Let's take a look at the variables in our test suites. Here's what we can do. We can declare a variable and for instance, like in this case, uh, we can declare a domain variable in our test suite and we can do it like this. Set main and let's copy this thing. And uh, what we need to do is now change in here like this. So that's it. So for now on we can move uh, the main. Uh, definition to a variable and if we want for instance to change the test environment and and we need to change the domain for our test website we can do it in a single place let's check if it works yep it works so this was enough for this tutorial I think and in the next video, I will show you some more uh, interesting stuff for, uh, in uh, test suites. Thanks for watching.